participant and with our beautiful Best Life leader, Jen. Hi. So, uh, happy day, Jen, and happy day to all of you who are here. And we are going to expand on from the Best Life now, from the Abraham now has been, uh, she had a session today as well for two hours ago. And uh, wow, a lot of new things uh, coming up there. Many, there was like a, something that was really resonant with me. I was clarifying more. It was like, you can't, you can't uh, ask a question from a, we're going to expand all the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't, you can't, uh, you can't hear, uh, uh, you can't ask a question from a problem, you know, feeling the problem to someone or to yourself or to anything and then find a solution or get the answer from a solution get the answer for what is the solution from that because you are in the problem when you ask that question and you're feeling that and then you can't hear the solution of it and let's start with that and open that up jen uh, I, I know you 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 already spoke about that in the in the uh, classes now uh recently and uh yeah so yes oh i am so happy happy that we're sharing this because this is such a wonderful key key piece to everything and it's understanding everything is attraction 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 and we everything in this universe including us including every thought we think including everything in this universe is vibrational right so um, and, and then it's understanding that the frequency of a problem, right, that bit of contrast, um, which always inspires the solution, right, but um, that bit of contrast, that problem frequency is different than the, than the frequency of the solution. So step one is us and our human form here, us here, right, we encounter some kind of a contrast, a problem, a situation of some sort. Well, we don't have to do anything in that space other than acknowledge, huh, this isn't what I prefer. We don't even really need to acknowledge it, but um, it's knowing, right? This is a problem. Well, because remember, it's more than us just here in our human body. We have our inner being. That's the broader aspect of us. That's our non-physical connection, that ex a connection to God's source. So when we feel any contrast, our inner being is right there with us. And But when we, from our human perspective, say, ooh, this is a problem, or this is a contrast, this is something unwanted, our inner being knows immediately that which we do desire and creates vibrationally, remember everything is a vibration, creates the vibrational solution or that which is desired, that which is wanted. So, but that solution is in a different frequency. It's in a frequency that feels good. So when we, um, you know, stay kind of in that space of, okay, this contrast, we encourage you, I encourage you, right? Abraham encourages you, <laughs> acknowledge that. Know that the broader aspect of you, God's source has answered that with that which you want and then go about feeling better because the solution is in place. And we expanded this out in class um, because something that Abraham has shared many times and um, it's very, very beautiful and it's this, it's you can't get sick enough to make sick people well. You can't get poor enough to make poor people wealthy, right? You can't, um, feel sad enough to make a sad person feel joy. Okay, you could expand that out into any parameter. But we expanded this out and it's beautiful to understand. Here you are in your contrast, it's a problem. You're in your contrasting situation. Well, know this, you can't bring enough other people into the frequency of your problem. I don't care how many hundreds, thousands, millions of people you bring into the frequency of the problem and bring them in that problem. If they're vibrating in that frequency of the problem, you can't get to the solution. That is so spot on. 
And this goes right in alignment with something that Abraham also shares. So I'll expand this out. One person in alignment is more powerful than millions who are not. Yeah. So when you have that problem, that contrast, you be that one person. You be that one person who acknowledges that contrast. Okay, this is a problem or this isn't what I prefer. With the knowingness that the broader aspect of you, your inner being, God source, the universe has created that solution and is calling you forward to it, broadcasting you, here's the solution, here it is, we have it for you, come this way. And when you can acknowledge, okay, this is a contrast, this is not what I prefer, this is a problem, but I know that my solution is in place. I know that which I desire is being broadcast to me. And I know that my solution is in a better feeling space. And when you make that decision and you deliberately flow forward to a better feeling space, one good way to do that is to appreciate, right? But however you do it, there's a few, right? And we can share those. But when you make that deliberate decision, you are that one. That one person that's more powerful than millions who are not. So um, I'll pause there. Expansion. Yes, that, that. yes, because that's that's really resonant. Because tell me, no, it's not a bit about the others, because they have their own individual thing. When the, and then we all have our own inner being. So when there is a problem, we feel. When we find our own alignment, then we don't see the problem outside of ourselves. We are on the frequency then of the solution of the alignment, being in alignment with ourselves, and then there is no problem anymore. And then when we're moving forward, then the solution comes for whatever question from whatever question from that uh, coming. You know, maybe that's the question where maybe also fall away. There's a new question from that alignment that come take place, and then yeah, another answer from that question from that alignment first. That's something also that was just a. Exactly. Beautiful download I got right away because it's like, and um, you can't yeah, never find. Yeah, you can. You, you can't get a find a solution in being in the problem, and and that's all about ourselves. It's not about other people. It's my feelings. It's I feeling that problem. It's me. It's all me. Me attracting that attraction. That's attraction. 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 That is me attracting it. You know, that's my my energy. That's my vibration. That's how I've been thinking and feeling about things. But isn't that so freeing to know that now when I know what I know. I can more deliberate focusing on, we should talk about writing books of positive aspects. Uh, write about if there is a situation, let's say there's a situation about your boss, if there's some problem there, if there is something, but write, start to find your own, own alignment and be, and write things what you liked about that. May, she, that was something really good she mentioned in the end. When there is a relationship, when there is something, whatever uh, situation you had, you know, well, how was it in the beginning in that relationship when you come together? Because that was pure low source energy. That was inner being coming into that alignment. And, and you felt, you know, a beautiful flow, you a great conversation and many beautiful things come forth. So when you are finding that place from when she talked about, like Dave mentioned something in the class about selling something. So do you want to expand this out too? You know, this is so many, there's so many things. So <laughs> just like, a lot of <laughs> I just you throw share. it out there for so, me. It's so good. So yeah, so I, I'm just getting <laughs> you could be playing with this now. So. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing. <laughs> so, so yes, so let's, um, hmm, we'll just expand right from a very basic place, right? So now you're, you have a problem. Ta -da, here you are problem right well guess what your inner being that broader aspect of you that extension of God source energy is right there in the middle of that problem with you what's the difference between you in your human form and you in your non-physical form you in your human form right you are still kind of seeing the problem and you're probably pretty fixated on it you in your non-physical inner being form, remember this is all of you, right? You, but you know, it's kind of getting you, and, and the whole goal in all of this, the whole thing is to get you to really operate more broadly as one, 
as a whole to feel smoothness in this cycle, right? So, but the broader aspect of you, remember, when is right there in that contrast with you, but all they can see is the solution, that which you desire. That's all they can see. They're holding no focus upon the problem or the situation or the contrast. They're saying, come this way, we have your solution. Meaning your inner being has no resistance. You, us in human form, have some resistance often, right? But the idea is to have less resistance, to be open to feeling forward to that solution, feeling to the wholeness of who we are. Because when you can feel and you know that solution is there, you'll enjoy the beautiful unfoldment of it. You'll enjoy that path to becoming of it. This is where all the juice in life is. This is that piece. When you bring, you experience contrast, your inner being is right there with you, that extension of God's source, celebrating, because they have what you want. And in the process, by the way, I'll add this, that which you want is new onto the universe. You may think, oh no, everybody else wants this same thing or many other people have. Not from your perspective. What you have asked is new onto all that is. The universe is expanding because of that contrast. And, and your inner being, God's source, is already enjoying that expansion, calling you forward to enjoy that expansion. And the only way from our human physical perspective to enjoy that expansion is for us to feel good, to feel the solution, to be solution-minded. So when we experience a problem or a situation, when we automatically, if we can acknowledge it, well, this isn't my preference, but I know the solution is here. I know that what I desire is in place. Isn't this going to be fun as we journey forward? you'll feel the energy of your inner being flowing to you. You'll enjoy this process. And some of those limiting beliefs that you may be, you know, from a human perspective, kind of hanging on to will begin to fall away. Well, they'll be easier to bridge forward from that space. Mm -hmm. Because be honest, in our human world, we have kind of these ideas. We like to uh, you know, every thought that's ever been thought still exists. And the law of attraction brings them together in rivers and streams, right? So they're still there. So those people that think it's hard to do that thing that you want to do, or it's hard to have abundance, there are rivers and streams of thought. And guess what? When you feel bad, you tap right into those rivers and streams. You do. But you don't have to. You can be deliberate. You can know, right? This is a co-creative process. This, when I ask, it is given. I'm part of expanding all that is. I can let go of these resistant thoughts. I know my solution is in place. And I know that as I feel better, I will feel my guidance. I will feel that beautiful becoming. And it all starts with feeling good, with being good to yourself. Because if you are beating yourself up, if you are being hard on yourself, if you are holding your feet to the fire over something, it's pretty hard to feel that guidance consistently. It's pretty hard to allow yourself to feel the goodness that you really are. So begin by being nicer to yourself, being kinder to yourself, and begin seeing how things are working out for you. Start very general. Start by knowing, you know, the sun comes up every day. I don't have to do a thing about it. It just comes and it brings so much beauty, so much beauty to our planet. It, it, it enhances, without the sun, I don't think our universe would work, right? It happens every day. We breathe every day. Our bodies function every day. There's a vast amount of oxygen available to us, which is cleaner right now, by the way, than it's ever been. Thank you, universe. Thank you all of beautiful becoming, right? Um, everything is there. So start where you're at, 
and then start appreciating yourself. You know, I appreciate how I always have had this greater sense of who I am. I appreciate how even though sometimes things haven't worked out so quickly, they ultimately always do work out, right? I appreciate how so many good things are flowing in my life. I appreciate how things, you know, there's more good things happening than I've taken the time to really appreciate, right? Just start gently, generally, lovingly opening yourself up to being able to receive the frequency of pure love energy that is flowing to you nonstop, always calling to you, right? You have to match that frequency, but you have to start with where you're at. And if you're beating yourself up, know your inner being isn't, and you're tuned to a different channel. So start by being nice to yourself, loving yourself, appreciating, doing anything that feels just a little bit better, just being a little kinder and gentler with yourself. And you'll start to feel the energy flowing to your body. You'll start to feel the solutions. You'll start to feel your forward flow. It doesn't take much. You don't have to goose yourself up, to, up onto the top of Mount Everest. You don't have to be bouncing up and down yelling, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Because guess what? You're not in those moments, right? <laughs> <laughs> and even if you can get yourself goofed up into a hypered up space, that's not going to serve you well. But when you can identify truly acknowledging where you're at, going, you know, I am where I am. And from here, I can go forward. You know, it's pretty good where I, have, where I am right in this second. Even if you have a bunch of other stuff looming around in your life that you consider problems, Right here in this moment, as I take a breath, I can feel, I can feel the goodness, right? Give yourself that time. Go moment by moment forward. You'll feel your energy rise. You'll start to feel the inspiration. You'll start to feel your path, not those other streams of human consciousness that are vibrationally aligned to those negative feelings. So I'll pause there. Yeah, what to say. <laughs> it's uh, so good. Yeah, yeah, it is. Thanks, John. And uh, I love what she ended with. She said, uh, there is great love here for you, here, here right now. And that's like what you share now. It's just what I feel like, you know, immediately when you acknowledge it, it's here right now for you to to shift and, and, and feel the, the diff, feel the feeling better for one in any situation. And knowing that it's so nice, you said, you know, it's, it's like the inner being never moving anyway. You know, inner being or unconditional love, or unconditional appreciation from within is always there. Mm -hmm. And it's never, you know, just disappear. So yeah. just that knowingness is so, it's such like, a, oh, so that means that what unconditionally or no matter what, I can come to the place for feeling a little bit better. Yes, oh, I can. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, you, I have my guidance. We all have. And uh, we all want different things. And, and we all expanding from the newness, from the inner beingness that is now always new and refresh. As we are coming into that place, it will it will give us more of it. The energy, the vibration, the, we will feel how things come easily to us. Mm -hmm. experience circumstances situation change but those things changes because your perspective of those things how you look at it now changes because you're in a being that's don't look at the way how the human consciousness look at it and you and when you when you are looking from the in a beingness from the unconditional love it looks always new and refresh it's vibrates it's it's alive it's it's like oh this is fun this is, this is like a being a child again you know there's just like a lot of playful and new things to, to look at and new expression and expansion and, and excitement and uh it is all it's it's natural in all of us mm -hmm. so we've been knowing this from the beginning uh, since it's before we came into this physical form and and now we just we are so free to, to be more deliberate deliberate about it and more we are deliberate in that energy and, and feeling it more and more than Easier and easier it gets, and 
feels better and better and better she is better it gets and mm -hmm. and all and all it goes and and never stops and just moving and it's a beautiful momentum and that's the beautiful thing too with being a human in non-physical energy how being non-physical energy in human form that it's 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 not like our destination it's just more expansion still still when we are re-emerging into something new we're still expanding mm -hmm. so. always 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 and i i love what you shared because it is everything is in motion forward everything is always in its place of becoming including us and when you can just acknowledge where you're at in this moment and make peace with it and know from here forward what a beautiful joyful journey the unfoldment of it oh think about you know we just had class before this and I gave the example of a baby um, learning to walk, right? You know, as a parent or whoever, right, we can be that cooperative component for them. Meaning, yeah, we probably, you know, make sure they have a, a, a pretty safe environment. You know, they're not going to hit themselves on a sharp corner or you know, we put little plugs in the outlets and things so they don't, you know, stick their cute little fingers and get a shock in there. But for the, but they, but we allow them right that journey we allow them that time of figuring out how their legs work and how their balance works and how ultimately to have that joy of taking those first steps and then figuring out how they can go faster and before you know it they're running and if you've ever watched a baby or had the joy of doing this you know what the unfoldment of that journey there's a reason, right, why they, you know, there's so much joy as they learn and flow to it. And if you see that smile, that exhilaration, but this is what we're all like, wherever we're at, we're in essence learning to walk. We're learning this and there's great joy in this if we're focused in the direction of joy in the direction of feeling better, if we're focused in the direction of what's right, if we're focused in the direction of things to appreciate. But when we're focused in the direction of what's wrong, it feels like it's, it's a burden, it's a problem. We can't get there. And it's true, Abraham will even say, if you're really focused heavily in the problem and you're not willing to change your channel, so to speak, switch your frequency, you can't get there from there. You can play channel 93.4 and you're never going to hear channel 100.7 on that station. That frequency is can only give you more of that. So make little shifts, right? Start looking for the things that are right, things to appreciate. And no, just like that baby experiencing that joy of learning to walk, we're continually in a space of that. Every time we, are, we have something where we have a desire, right? Every time we have a contrast, a problem, we launch a rocket of desire. There it is. Our inner being is like, we have your rocket. Come this way. Woohoo! Come this way. It's amazing. They love it. They're calling unceasingly. They love us unconditionally. They appreciate us for the contrast or the problem that we were in the middle of, but they don't look at that. They only look at what was birthed from it and how it has expanded not only our life experience vibrationally, but all of the universe has expanded from that. And they call to us. They call to us. Just like channel 100.7 is always broadcasting. But if we're on, I don't remember, 93.4 or 94, whatever channel we were on. If we're on that channel, we have to deliberately shift gently to that station. We have to come into alignment with it. And it's a joyful journey as we come up through those frequencies. It's joy. It's why we came. This is where all the juice is at. This is why they say the joy is in the journey. The joy is in the becoming. The joy is in the unfoldment. So when we start to understand that and start to recognize that the law of attraction is always working for us and it will show us where we are predominantly focused. 
if we're predominantly focused on that problem channel, that problem frequency, we got a lot of problem going on, right? Now, once in a while, we might have a little something that happens that shifts our frequency and a little good thing will trickle in in there, but we don't know how it happened because we're predominantly fo focused on the problem frequency, right? And even when that good thing happens, it doesn't really seem very satisfying because we don't know, we didn't do it deliberately. We didn't make the deliberate shift. We didn't deliberately acknowledge, oh, this that I don't want. Rocket of desire is launched. That what I want is in place. I know my solutions on a better feeling frequency. And then go about feeling and flowing forward, feeling and flowing forward, and enjoying the unfoldment of it. Feeling that, like that baby, oh. If you've ever witnessed the process of a baby learning to walk, you, it's the most glorious thing ever when you see them with their little giggles, when you see them find their balance. And even when they at first make those little tumbles and you just encourage them, you're a cooperative component. You're like, you've got this. Come on, little one. You might hold them by a finger to help them. But you're right there. That's what our inner being is doing for us. Come on. You've got this. You're, you're walking. Your running legs are right underneath you, right? That what you want is right there. But you have to deliberately flow in the direction. And babies do it very easily because they know. They're very close to the non-physical, right? They still know. But it doesn't matter how out of whack we've gotten in this life experience, how tuned to the problems we've gotten. The joy in the flowing towards the solution is always there. The joy in feeling better is always there. The joy in appreciating is always there. So start right where you're at, right now. You don't have to wait till tomorrow even. You can start right now. And in that, you'll feel, you'll start to feel your energy more. And if you're already doing this, know that this is an unending journey forward. And don't we appreciate that? I appreciate that. I don't want to feel endedness. I always want to know that there's more. I always want to know there's more joy. There's more happiness. There's more, more ways to experience expansion and playfulness and delight and becoming. And there's always, always, always more. Expansions on that, Espen? Yeah, you already spoke very much out there. It's so good. Everything you shared, yeah. It's uh, just, I'm just feeling, uh, it's, I don't know how more, more to say about it. It's, 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 it's aligned. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, know this, God source, your inner being is never looking back at the contrast is never looking back at something you did last year, last week, or five minutes ago. No. Anytime you've had contrast, it is only looking to what is vibrationally created, what you truly desired in that moment. So know this, there's nothing in essence for you to go back to and clean up. And if you're feeling any form of regret or remorse, you can just let that go, right? Gently, generally, lovingly, easily. And know this, if you've had some long-standing periods where you've been a little hard on yourself or been beating up yourself or maybe very hard on yourself, be gentle with yourself. I love today in Abraham Now, they gave a beautiful example. And this was a person that was um, experienced, they were, had a substance abuse. They were doing some kind of drugs or something of some sort. And Abraham said first, be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Stop beating yourself up. And then Abraham said, acknowledge the core desire you had from doing that substance. And it could be a drug. It could be sugar. It could be a food. It could be anything, any kind of behavior that whatever you, you, you would desire to flow forward from. So whatever it is, but acknowledge yourself that the reason that you, you're, you have done it or, or did it or are doing it is for that desire to feel better. That's initially why you did it, to find some relief, to find some better feeling. 
and then begin to validate yourself. Yes, I do desire to feel better. And that action that I took was in desire to feel improvement in my life. And then begin flowing forward. And how else could I feel better? I already have that core desire. I am already on the right track. And then they went on to a shore, right? And this is just more of a, uh, you know, a, a physical component. If it is some form of a substance abuse or or uh, something you're eating like sugar or I don't know to, tobacco or whatever, what. It, doesn't matter whatever it is that you're not comfortable with right it doesn't matter to me it's what you feel about it right so whatever that is it only takes your body your physical body the, the cells of your body three days to adapt to you being without that substance so anything above and beyond that is coming from your thoughts so you know, know this, your body will respond quickly. Your cells are all connected to source energy. They're all feeling that calling and they're also very adaptive. So whatever substance or food or things you've been doing, you can bridge that forward and know that that initial desire to do that was to feel better, to feel some relief, to feel some improvement. And that is good and flowing in that direction and validating yourself for wanting to do something that feels better will set you free. It will set you on the path of that which you are truly asking. And know you're doing it right. Everything, everything is in its perfect place of becoming. So regardless of where you're at, what situation you are in, there's always motion forward. Always, always, always. Does that resonate, Espen? Uh, yeah, I love that. You know, I, I've been using before uh, some tobacco for a long, long time ago, and uh, and uh, I just it, it's true. You know, it's the first three days. It's just and after it's just like getting easier and easier, and it feels better and better. But to know that, and I love that because you know we we always want to feel good. That's so natural. You know, if you are are in a situation uh, that you don't don't feel good. You, and you're not aware of your inner being conditionally you and it's it's nothing to 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 what they say just justify with yourself or criticize yourself for it because it's natural for us to feel good and now when we are aware of it it feels good to know it oh we have our inner being we can come to that place oh we can meditate quiet in my mind and lessen the resistance then our energy arises oh i can write in positive aspects and whatever which feels good to you and you find that feel good place and and you know that you feel it unconditional it's not based on anything from outside but you can feel it still from within no matter what i know i've been doing a lot of a lot of things i've been doing that maybe have a lot of contrast in it but really i'm now in the place and just feeling my well-being and that was not depending on what what everything i've been doing from the past that was not depending on those past experience that's that's not depending on anything they had no dependency on anything and in the beingness she talked about it also Abra. It has no dependency. It mm -hmm. has nothing to do whatever what you've been doing from past or whatever you you know you're feeling about that. You know if there's something, and well-being never depends on that. You can always come to that space. Mm -hmm. And and I love that you say be easy about it because there is a lot of people you know who say maybe using it for sure. I'm not so aware of it. Right, focus on that now. Yeah. It's like. You know, it's 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 good to know that um, you the relief is always there. You know, there you can there is always a path of least resistance. There is always a path of most allowing, and it's the same path. And there is always um, an opportunity to to shift and pivot and to come to a place of feeling a little bit better. You don't have to feel. It's not about to push myself to feel the best of the best and the best and be over the best. But really just to feel a little bit better and as i'm going it's deliberate feeling that and creating my way of feeling a little bit better i will be guided online i will line up with and be guided on the way to feeling better and better and better and better and then it will be natural for me as i'm waking up in the morning and go through the day to feel this more and more then i will also for myself know you know oh this is so good i i feel and know my own well-being and i know who i am and i know 
and that well-being first and feeling my alignment first and then doing how ah, it's so much more fun it's so much more joy it's so much more satisfying and it's easing up everything and it's 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 lighting up my light board and it's energized everything from within and everything what i observe from outside now i know that it's not about you know, we talk about it. There is one. There can be one person, the positive person, coming into a room, and there's hundred thousand or millions of negative people. But I know it's it's me, my perspective. Or it's my alignment. When I'm feeling alignment, that's how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at everyone in alignment, and that is influencing for myself. Okay. It's for myself and for my own creation, for what I am deliberately creating my own. A reality work is my my own uh, thing that I want to be doing now, and it's always uh, supporting and uplifting and uh, encouraging for more and expanding for more. Yes. And, uh, yeah. So good. So that. So, yeah. So, so many, so many. We can we can I go on all all day about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So well, I just want to add you know this to that example and i chose specifically and it was part of the abraham now today that example around substance abuse but mm. no this applies to everything right it's not just that that's just an easier example to follow if you feel like you've been beating yourself up right that's an addiction too right that's that's those are thoughts that you've continued to think where you've been hard on yourself so just know you can shift that, start by being nicer to yourself. Know that you started maybe being hard on yourself because you thought ultimately it would create improvement in your life, right? You started doing that for some reason, you know, and it doesn't matter, don't, don't need to find the reason. Just know that those things, those patterns that you've been holding on to, you did them ultimately thinking they were going to bring improvement in, into your life. That's why you did it. But maybe that hasn't proved to be true, just like the person that's using a substance. They thought this was going to bring them happiness or joy or relief of some sort, but ultimately maybe that hasn't happened, right? So, but if you've been beating up on yourself, right? So it's, it's just deciding, okay. You know, I ultimately knew when I started being a little hard on myself, or a lot hard on myself or whatever it was because I my desire is to feel better and I do have that core desire I can feel my guidance right same thing if it's a relationship if maybe you're in a troubled relationship okay just start being easy about things acknowledge where you're at acknowledge you began this relationship because of the feeling of happiness and joy the better feeling right that you felt it would bring to you it's so often when we get so looking at the problem what did i do wrong in this relationship why do i keep screwing this up why don't i have enough money blah blah whatever these things when we look in that direction the law of attraction goes well that's what you're focused on let me bring you more of it there's lots of rivers and streams of these thoughts here come jump in here's a troubled stream here they have groups Right? There's, right? There's all kinds. And I'm just saying, acknowledge, okay, this doesn't feel good. I have my own stream and it's connected to source energy and it's unwavering and it's certain and it's true and it feels good and it's calling me forward. And when you start being just a little bit kinder to yourself, You'll feel that. You'll feel that connection. You'll start to feel the unconditional love that, of who you are. You'll start to see the things that are occurring in your life differently. So know that, even though that was a substance abuse example earlier, it applies to everything. It all is about each of us feeling the love that flows to us and through us, ultimately, that's being connected to who we really are, right? But it starts initially, right? You have to start with where you're at. And if you've been hard on yourself, if you've been judging yourself, if you've been a little unkind to yourself or a lot unkind, 
or you've been focused on the things that are wrong with you, start bridging it forward. Start being nicer to yourself. Start finding ways where you can find, you know, some fun. Give yourself some relief. Aim yourself in that direction. It will be a joyful journey of unfoldment. And just like that little baby, you will enjoy it. You'll enjoy feeling the current of love that's always been flowing to you. Instead of resisting it, allowing it and allowing it at your own rate, knowing that you were the one that enabled that connection to be in a space of alignment. Hmm. And there is something so exhilarating about that. And when you can feel that, like you said earlier, Espen, you will be that dominant influence in the room, but you won't be doing it because you're trying to change anybody. You'll be able to appreciate everybody where they're at on their journey. But you will sure. be the one that is shining from your space of alignment, which allows them to feel that connection. Because we all come from one source, one God, sure. one creator, and it's a pure love and light. And, and when one person is in, in resonance with that, it's felt. It won't matter if you say a word. You won't have to speak. You might be inspired to, but you won't need to. They'll feel it. They'll feel their life force energy. And I assure you, as long as a person is breathing in their body, they have life force energy. Every particle and every cell in this universe does. And it all comes from that same source of pure love and light. Expansion, Dustin. Oh, I feel so good. Yeah, and it's so true. It's like we are all in this together. We are from the same pure love source energy, and it's in all of us. And it's always supporting, uplifting, and giving the best to us unconditionally. Unconditional love, unconditional appreciation for ourselves, for all the things we are, physical senses, with everything we're observing. Without non physical energy first, without pure love source energy first, it always feels the best for everything and expands it out to become more and vibrate more and energize more as we are uh, more aware of it and more deliberate in it, feeling the energy of it. And uh, what a freedom because it really doesn't matter. No one, nothing about the past anymore or the future. I love what she ever when she shared in the end and it's so spot on because it's it was so good just to feel the energy that she said, there is great love here for you, here, here right now, as easy as that. And it's like, it's just, it's just for my, it's just like it brings everything and bridge everything together to know that it is always now, this mm -hmm. unconditional love, it's from within. And uh, when we tap in into turn on, when we tap in tune on and turn on in the vibrational, vibration of the energy of the well-being of who we truly are, then we find our way in solution and feeling good through every aspect in our life more and more. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's all good. It's all well. Uh, we are well-being naturally in our physical form. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's our desire. We desire to come forward with that well-being into this physical form. And now as we are in human form, we well being know that we well know want to feel well in all things we do and have as well. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, well, it will be and more to come. So, beautiful. <laughs> it is so nice. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So I encourage you, right, to if this broadcast or any of these, these are on YouTube, these are on Facebook, watch these again, or any of the content that we have, it will help you feel your alignment. For sure. Also, deep breathing. We've talked about this before, right? Just, just you can feel, you can feel your connection. A little, a little, a fun note. Anytime you've yawned, your inner being has yawned you. Source has yawned you, right? They're calling you. Breathe in your connection, right? <laughs> Breathe it in, right? That's that's what a yawn is, right? So, meditate. If you're not familiar with that, Espen, you have a wonderful um, guided meditation you can tune into. 
and and also know you can do this for yourself you know give yourself 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes a day where you're either just sit in a chair comfortably and focus on your breathing or listen to just a dull noise something you know that is not interesting but that you can just allow you, yourself to let go of your active thoughts in your mind right and just focus on that right you'll feel your connection come in if you do that appreciate appreciate find things to appreciate don't goose them up right make them things you can appreciate right now make them easy start general I appreciate the feeling of a deep beautiful breath I, I appreciate that I appreciate this beautiful physical body that is keeping me safe, but it's allowing me to communicate and experience joy. And I appreciate that my son comes up every day to start appreciating, right? And then be nice to yourself. Find ways you can be nicer to yourself throughout the day. Find ways you can have more fun. Find ways, you know, allow yourself those little pleasures, those little things. Like, just be good to yourself. Savor your meals a little more. Appreciate your shower. Appreciate your time in your bed. Appreciate that. Give yourself a moment or two to savor your, your beautiful comfort, right? Your comfortable pillow, your warm blankets. You don't have to hop out of bed like you're a drill sergeant, you know. Let, you know, come into a space of appreciation. If you like coffee, savor your cup of coffee or your tea. Uh, if you like going for walks and you're, you're, you're taking time to do that, appreciate. These are wonderful times. Mm. Start looking for the things that feel good. Start being more solution-focused, appreciation-focused, feel-good-focused. And if you find your, you know, some of your patterns popping in, right, where you're like, oh, yeah, but here's something. Just acknowledge it. Maybe take a deep breath and go, I so appreciate that I noticed that. I so appreciate that I'm aware of that. I so appreciate that I'm flowing forward from that. Just be gentle about it. Everything is in its perfect place of becoming. I love that. Thank you. That is so good. And what a great rapture of appreciation you you bring here to all of us. So thank you. And uh, thank you all for who's been here on the listening with your own inner being, well being. And uh, yeah, we're all in this together. And we are all, we all have our own experience with all of this. And that is such a freedom to feel, to know that we are, we all have that. We are freedom to feel be feel do feel have whatever we what we feel be feel do feel have what we want something like that <laughs> unconditionally <laughs> and more to come <laughs> and more to come so like we like always love to say there's more to come so it's not ending are you sure it's no no but it must end it up no 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 this is the fun part this is like there is always 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 more to come always always and thank you Thank you, Esmin. Oh, this is such a delight. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. Yeah, just feel feel good as you flow forward. Mm, you are so loved. Like so Abraham would say, there is great <laughs> love here for you always. Yeah. And we remain.